So what defines us is how well we rise after falling. Everybody fails. I mean, you either when if something happens, you either win or you learn. This one is a little tricky. There's no problem a good orgasm can solve. <laughs> I don't think I can comment on that one. Into Takaru is is not that experienced in the world, so I can't comment on that one. Is it easier to build a business in the United States or in the United States? I think it'd be much easier in the States because the, the culture, the American culture, you could do a lot more marketing and stuff like that. Okay, Danny, so you're not only a chiropractor, you're a business owner, you're a motivated man and can be a very motivating man. We have collected some quotes from around the world and we're going to discuss some of those together. So what defines us is how well we rise after falling. Everybody fails. I mean, you either when if something happens, you either win or you learn. Those are the two options you take, win or learn. There is no losing. So another one is if you never failed, you never tried hard enough. So true, so true. You have to fail. If you're not failing, means you're doing what you can do. How one improvement you're gonna get out of that? Nothing. You have to shoot for stuff that's higher that you're not capable of doing because that's where the growth is. And you will fail because you're going from point A to point B, of which you never went to. So you need to um, you need to fail <laughs> and learn, move forward. Another one is there is no passion to be found playing small. None. Think big or go home. That's it. I mean, it's much better to shoot for incredibly high goals and fall below them than to set average ones and achieve them. If someone doesn't appreciate your presence, make them appreciate your absence. Yeah, that's simple. I mean, it works both ways. If, say, I don't appreciate someone and they disappear or they leave, you'll see how fast you appreciate it. Sometimes we don't appreciate the things we have. As time goes on, if you, you know, grow and mature, you start to learn to appreciate things you have before you lose them, which is much better. This one is a little tricky. There's no problem a good orgasm can solve. I don't think I can comment on that one. Into Takaru is not that experienced in the world, so I can't comment on that one. Obsessed is a word the lazy used to describe the dedicated. Absolutely. They're uncomfortable about that not going for their own goals. So when they see someone going for their goals, they sometimes, oh, you're obsessed, you're this. But I don't think you could be obsessed about anything and, you know, if it's good. So I like it. Be obsessed. Yes, be obsessed about good things, good productive things. So this one is from Denzel Washington as well. And it is without commitment, you'll never start. Without consistency, you'll never finish. 100%. Success does not come from one event. It comes from small things every single day. Every single day, you get a, a big change. So it's small things over many periods of time. Time and persistence will get you anything. Is there any unpopular opinion you have and that goes against the majority of people's thoughts? Most of my life is that way. I mean, I chose a profession, chiropractic, which is non-conventional, which is basically uh, a different paradigm than general allopathic or conventional. Also from the financial world, I don't think uh, you need these great financial gurus to help you manage your money. You could do it yourself. It's not that complicated. I have a daughter and I'm always concerned about uh, equal rights for my daughter. Sometimes there's you know, some discrimination related to, to women and maybe young people. I'm 100% against that. Tony, growing up in Brooklyn, New York, did you have a chip on the shoulder that gave you the strength and the capability of uh, becoming a successful man or it, it just came naturally and uh, it felt natural to you? Well, I mean, in the end, I think it's always both. There's always nature and nurture. New York is a very tough place where you have every, lot, very people, a lot of people successful, very ambitious, very smart. Also, it's a tough environment. So for you to survive and thrive in that environment, you got to put, you know, put it up a notch. And if not, you're done. But if you do, and you, you know, and New York's such a tough place, when you actually leave New York, every place seems easier. <laughs> So business-wise, what's the biggest difference you've found between Italian businesses and American businesses? I mean, there's always differences because the underlying culture of both countries affects the businesses and there's pros and cons in both. I mean, I'm from New York, so we have this sense of urgency. We have to get it done. We're willing to work you know, every single day of the week, 12 hours a day, doing business is a lot easier in New York or in the United States than here. Forming businesses, starting it, hiring people, uh, firing people, it's much different. We have different type of contracts. Here in Italy, it's a little more bureaucratic. It's more difficult. There's a different ethic of work. The positive things here is like the, when you hire people, they stay with you for a long time. I mean, in the end, 
you have to figure out how to make it work regardless of where you are. And that's, that's my job as a small business owner. Is it easier to build a business in the United States or in Italy? If you're talking about like a practice, like my type of business, my type of practice, um, I would think it'd be much easier in the States because the, the culture, the American culture, you could do a lot more marketing and stuff like that. And it's much more proactive of getting the patients in. Here you have to go much more pasta at all, much more word of mouth, which in the long run works better here because word of mouth, the patients are more, um, more loyal, more dedicated, they're coming more. Thank you